Hello everybody, this is um, Puppy Lover 863 but on this channel, <laughs> it's Pause for Real Life and Scotty is just no lie giving me dirty looks right now. Um, I just wanted to welcome you all to my second channel and basically what this channel is about, what I decided to add is I didn't want it to just be my pet channel, I also wanted to put like random videos and stuff like I'll put some Webkin stuff, you know, just reminiscing the good old days when I was using Webkins instead of LPS. I'll give you some behind the scenes, uh, like, you know, on, like, behind the scenes on set, like, what I'm going to be doing and stuff. So I could try to do tutorials if I can. But for now, this is going to be a webkin slash on set video, and Scotty is just there, because he just is, <laughs> and I don't know why he's sticking his tongue out. But today's video, I am going to be showing you my top 15 favorite webkins, and um, I'm not doing this video like to show off or brag or anything, but I've always really wanted to do this video in the past. And before we start, I just want to say all these webkins are going to be in the order, like my first favorite all the way up to my last over there. So anyway, let's get started. And Scotty's still look at, licking his lips. So we're going to be starting out with my first favorite. This is a white poodle whom I named... Scottia, and yes, it's because it's my favorite because I named her after my own dog who's still licking his lips. I don't know why he's doing that, maybe. The next one is my Pegasus, and I've actually been wanting the Pegasus ever since I started collecting them, and she was just like one of my rare ones, so and there's her first edition W. And she's like one of the, reti bleh, the retired ones, and her name's Fantasia, if you want. And the third favorite is the yellow lab. I named her Lucy, and I just made this outfit for her. And if you're wondering why she's my favorite, she just has something that I'm not sure if anybody else, any other Webkins, has. But when I got in the car after I got her, I discovered that her W is messed up and it's upside down she was like the last one in stock and i got her and i didn't realize that until i got in the car so i think she's really special that she has a very unique w um here we have my golden retriever and she she's my fourth favorite oh her name's fuzzy she's my fourth favorite because she is my first ever webkins like she's the one that started it all um and her w but and I just have this bracelet to kind of represent it. Like, I just put it around her neck. I just think she's really cute. Because I actually thought it was a lion at first. I was, like, really little when I got her. But she's just my very first one. My fifth favorite would have to be my Little King's unicorn. Her name's Diamond. And her W. And she is also a retired Webkins. Oh, and so is uh, Lucy. <laughs> But I don't really want to give too much detail. Like, I used to fall in love with this one when I got her. Like, there were only, like, two of her left when I got her. And I just dragged her around everywhere. Not really, literally, like, drag, but I just brought her everywhere with me when I got her. So This next one is my little kin's chihuahua. Her name's Flower. And I just did, I had, like, a little hula necklace I made into, like, She's my second Webkins that I've ever gotten my first Littlekins, which is why she's my sixth favorite. Oh, and there's her W. It's first edition. And she actually reminds me of a dog that my friend used to have, but it um, died already. But but I just think that Chihuahuas are just kind of adorable. Uh, no offense, uh, Scotty. Oh, you didn't hear me. That's good. My seventh favorite is... Wow. I remember all the names of the 70 something webkin okay like i just i just forgot her name for like a split second but now i remember oh sorry adjusting the camera um, this is a uh, butterscotch my uh chocolate lab and actually since like fantasia over there like sh she was like one of my favorites that i've been looking for in the stores forever but i think she's like retired or something i honestly don't know i think she is but i just i just wanted the chocolate lab for a long time and she's actually my my most recent webkins that I got, like, in um, August of 2013. My eighth favorite, um, sorry if you can't really see the dark colored ones, this is Whistler the Moose, and he, he actually was my first 
ever webkins that I um, bought from Canada because we were visiting Canada for a while and I just found him in the stores I'm like okay and yeah like you can find mo moose in Canada and where's the W that's so weird I can't find the W oh <laughs> on the rear end I never expected that and then next up we have um, snowy the Samoid as my ninth favorite and I just love her, like I just love her fur. It's so pretty even though it keeps falling out. Like actually this be this belonged to a, like a really good friend of mine and she didn't even use the code. So then she gave it to me on one of my birthdays and I used the code and adopted her online. And I just, and I just, I love the Samoid as well. Like, and the funny thing is another friend of mine actually had a Samoid named Snowy and it was a girl. Like they were, tw we were like twins for a while. <laughs> my 10th favorite is the Misty Puppy. Thunder. I don't know why I really like this one. I think it's really cute. I also got this on a birthday and it was actually thunderstorming so that explains why I named him Thunder. I don't even know if it's a girl or boy. Like I haven't been on Webkins in a while. And then nose, I'm not gonna lie, it's huge. It's like one of the hugest like furry noses I've ever seen. Like I've never seen a dog with a nose like that. My 11th favorite would have to be Crystal, my Arctic Fox. And when I got her, like, I didn't really even, like, know what kind of webkins this was. I just saw it in the store. It was a Hallmark. And, um, like, I figured I would be one of the first people to get it. And I'm like, okay. I was little at that time, so I didn't really know. But I learned that she was an Arctic fox. My 12th favorite was gonna, is Angel, my clover puppy. And actually, like, before I got her, I really wanted a love puppy. So when I saw her in um, Justice, I'm just like, okay, that's close enough to a love puppy. So um, I got her and I got um, another Webkins for my cousin at the same time, so, because we were visiting her. My 13th favorite would have to be Hazelnut, my signature calico cat. She's my favorite, like, she's my first and only signature Webkins. Like, there's the golden W. Like, after her, I never got another signature Webkins. I don't know why. I love the, f like, the fur. She's so fluffy and soft. and Like, she just looks so huggable. Like, the way, their size and the way she looks. My 14th favorite would have to be my texting puppy. Her name is Galaxy. And I like her. Well, it just pretty much resembles, like, who I am now. Like, as a teen, I love to text my friends and stuff. And she just kind of resembles like the the person I am right now, but I'm not a big like texting fanatic. But she just kind of represents like my teen ego. And last but not least, my fifteenth favorite would have to be my white terrier Sugar Cube. I don't really know why I like her. I like I just like the way she feels and um, her bow. It's so cute. And she is actually like before I got her, like my fifth Webkins was actually a Littlekin's White Terrier named Sugar Cube. And, and then I just saw her at Justice. She came with a little bag and I just, she was so soft and I'm just like, oh, she could be the mother of sugar. So I named her Sugar Cube. So that's my top 15 favorite Webkins and Scotty fell asleep. Before we go, I would like to show you behind the scenes of the big move. I've been working on it for like a couple of days now. What I was filming is part one of the season slash series finale. So yeah, pretty much like after part two of the series of season finale, that's also gonna mark the series finale, which means I won't make any more episodes after that. Pretty much this whole set I was working on. Oh, scotch tape is away. Um, this is um the Hilton house, and then. I just have um, her parents right here. I didn't really put much effort into the set, but I want to give you an insight on some stuff. Like, you know, just give you a little, like, <laughs> behind the scenes. So for Catherine's outfit, these earrings, they're actually like little beads. Hold on. Um, this, these are the beads. Like I used up a couple and there's, sorry, just ignore the tape. Like you, I got this actually at Target. So if you're looking for earrings, you can find a lot at Target. These, I'm using these as earrings too. They're like smaller than the one, than these ones. So that's that. And then the flower is just a little pitch up accessory. And then for the necklace, that's actually an earring. So 
there's the back. This is actually one of my new littlest pet shops, actually. That, um, you may recognize him as Savannah's dad from LP is Popular. I used him as her, um, like, chauffeur, you could say, per se. And then there's Brittany, but in behind the scenes, she's Alex. And then I want to show you, a lot of you people have been, a lot of you peeps, have been asking how I did um, the paperclip thing. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So I put like a bunch of layers of tape on there, and, like I put like two or three, you could put like two or three, and well maybe I'll do a little tutorial about it sometime on this channel. Basically, this is actually a paper clip, like I unwinded this large paper clip to make it stand. So you just basically have to um, twist your fingers to get and move, you have to make sure it's really tight because the, the main problem it, this can actually like twist so you have to like tape it really tight so that way it doesn't twist and it moves the little pet shop like and what's really cool like if you, if you have a pet shop that has a loose head like um she does you, you can, you're able to move them easily and lightly like so they're like little puppets and this is, you get them to walk and i have one for sophie's mom and the thing i don't like about it like the thing I don't like it. This one just kept coming off. I had to replace the tape, but it's working now. But like, it doesn't have that little grip like that one does, because it's like this one's just has a coat of paint. As you can see, it's kind of coming off on the top. Well, hold on. Gotta focus. Okay, so see, it's kind of coming off. These are the only paper clips I have. No lie, these are the only paper clips I have at the moment. So um, basically. I'm gonna see if I could find more large paper clips that I can use. Oh, before I forget this car, like I used to love Zuzu pets. Like if you don't know what they are, these are there's like these little hamsters where you just push a button and they start moving. You can get these little tubes, like accessories for them. This is actually one of the accessories that I had. It was because as you can tell it has little carrots on it. I actually just found this and I'm using it as a car at the moment. So basically, anything you find- oh, and the table, um, I actually covered it with cloth and you're being held up with like Jenga pieces. So yeah, that was a little behind the scenes thing and then there's my favorite, top 15 favorite webkins. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Bye!